I have been making a ton of artificial intelligent videos recently, and we've been looking at different programs that claim to do all of the editing for you using artificial intelligence. And each one is a little bit different. Today, we're going to be looking at Aftershoot Pro. This is a sponsored video, so I'm not going to be reviewing it, but I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to explain what makes this program different. There's three main things. First of all, this is the first program we've looked at like this that can actually call or help you call your images. All of the other AI programs we've looked at can only help you once you've called the images. This will actually help you call. Number two, this is the first artificial intelligent program that will edit your images locally without sending smart previews or JPEGs to some supercomputer somewhere. So that's going to save you tons of time. That's going to mean that you can edit photos anywhere without an internet connection. And number three, and the biggest deal of all, because it doesn't have to connect to the internet and use some external computer, it doesn't charge per image. The biggest complaint that I've had with the other software that we've been looking at is that they charge for every image that you edit. And most people say, that's crazy, I'm not gonna pay for software like that. So this is the first program that you can pay per month, I believe soon coming up, or right now you can buy it out for the entire year. And if you're a successful studio and you have tons of jobs that you're gonna be running through software like this, you're gonna save tons of money rather than paying per image. But of course, I don't like recommending any software that you can't try before you buy, and this one does come with a 30-day trial, so check it out for yourself, but let me quickly show you how it works. So first of all, we're going to click on New Album here, and it gives you two options. We can call or we can edit. I'm going to show you how the calling process works first. I'm going to click on add a folder and I'm going to go to my desktop and find some photos here that we've used before. And all I have to do is click start calling in the bottom right of my screen down here. It's going to open up a preferences page here and you can choose what type of photo shoot this is. I'm going to choose family portraits. You can choose if you want it to be lenient, moderate, or strict based on different guidelines. You can choose if you want it to edit things like closed eyes or blurred images or duplicates of images. Maybe you were shooting like infant portraits or whatever and the infant's going to be sleeping through the entire photo shoot. Well, in that case, you would want to turn off the closed eyes option here because the baby's eyes are going to be closed in every single picture. But in our case, for this photo shoot, everybody was awake, so I'm going to turn that back on and click Start Culling. Now, I have 441 images for this to get through. So you can see this going right now. It's already at 15, 16, 17%. It's going to take approximately one minute for 441 images. All right, it's all done. On the right side, we can see the filters and we can see the colors and we can also see the star rating of each of the different categories of photos that it put everything into. Selected images are all of the best images. It rated those five stars and it also highlighted them green. Highlights are what the program itself thinks are the best or the highlights of the photo shoot. You can click on any of these over here on the right to only see, for instance, the closed eye images. And then you can double click on these and it will automatically zoom in to each of the faces on the right. So you're not having to double click again and then move around and find all the different people. This is particularly time consuming when you're shooting large groups at weddings. So this makes it much faster because it finds all of the faces for you on the right and you can quickly see whose eyes are open or closed. So all of these images should have somebody with closed eyes and it does. But here's a good example of an image with closed eyes that might be worth keeping. You know, I, I think if somebody's closing their eyes out of joy, I think that can be a good shot. But what I like about this program is it makes everything very easy to see. So you can quickly cycle through everything. And if you want to add this image back, you can just hit the A key and you can see it makes it green and that's going to add it to the selected images. Now, you may notice that the number of images here don't actually add up to 441. And that's because most of the images that have been removed are duplicates or images where you're taking very similar shots of people within just a few seconds and the images are so close that the program is choosing which one of those images is best, but it does a really good job of categorizing everything, putting them together so that you can see them to double check what the program is actually doing. So again, if I double click on one of these images and I start moving over to the right, you can see over here it says no related duplicates, but eventually I'm going to get to an image that does have duplicates. Now I can hit up and down and it's going to cycle between two images that were taken very close together that are very similar, and I can choose myself which one of these is best if I want to. Now, the program said that this one was better than this. 
I think it did a good job there, so I don't need to change anything at all. Here's another example of a bunch of duplicates. These are five images that were all taken very close together. And you can see if I cycle through each one of these, I think it's incredibly helpful seeing each one of the faces on the right side here. On the left, when you see you know, the image, even though it's almost full screen, I cannot see the depth of field in this image. But you can definitely see who I was focused on when you cycle through these images and you look at the faces on the right. This is the image that Aftershoot said was best, and as I cycle through each one of these, I would agree, Aftershoot chose correctly again. I don't think there's any way that I'm going to trust any program to cull one of my jobs completely without me double checking it. And what I like about this program is that it does all of the work for you, but it clearly maps out what it's done and it gives you the option to quickly make changes if you want to. So I still would go through each one of these, but it makes it so much faster when it's already zoomed into each one of the faces. I'm not having to check focus. I'm not having to zoom in and move around the picture to check facial expressions. Everything's right there for me. And then it has a recommendation of what it thinks is the best photo. And 90, 95% of the time, I think it's made the right choice. Now, once you've gone through everything, you can go back to grid view, you can hit save changes, then you can click export so that you can open up these files in Lightroom. Let's go back to the home screen. I'm going to create a new album here. And for this one, I'm going to start editing rather than calling. These images have already been called. It's approximately 100 wedding photos. Now, like the other AI software that I've showed you guys in the past, this software can be trained to edit the way that you edit. So if you're already a wedding photographer and you have a signature look and you already have Lightroom catalogs that are already done, all you have to do is upload 2,500 to 5,000 images that have already been edited to this program and it will create a preset based on your edits that it can recreate on new files that you upload. Now currently this is the only way to use this software. You have to train it with your files. However, in the very near future, I think just in the next few weeks maybe, they're going to be releasing presets that do all of this for you. So if you can find a look that they've created that you like, that's even easier. You don't have to do any training at all. Just click go and it will start working. In the upper right, you have the option to add cropping and straightening as well. And then we will click continue. So right now it's processing all of these files. As you can see, it's going incredibly fast. This entire process for 114 images is gonna take approximately 30 seconds to one minute. So super, super fast. You can imagine if you were shooting a wedding and you had 800 to 1000 images to edit, I mean, maybe it's gonna take 10 minutes at most, but it's incredibly quick. And at this point it's done editing and we can click on review in Lightroom and it's going to open up this catalog in Lightroom with all of the edits from Aftershoot already done for us. All right, I've made a digital copy of each file and I reverted the settings back on the first one so that we can compare side by side. This is as shot and then this is what the software is doing. It's editing the file, but it's also straightening and cropping in just a little bit. Obviously very dark. Nice edit, nice. So as you can see, it's doing a really good job of finding the subjects. And like this one, a little bit overexposed, white balance is a little bit off. It's just bringing back some of those details. This shot a little bit dark, brightening everything up. There you go. This one, again, did a great job of straightening everything. Nice crop. It looks good. And again, if you have a particular way of editing, if you're looking at any of these files going like, I don't know if I would have done it like that. Well, that's kind of what the point is of this software because you can make it do whatever you want to do. So if you're saying like, I don't know, that might be a little too green or a little more overexposed than I would like, when you upload your Lightroom catalogs, it's not gonna look like this. It's going to look like your other files. I don't think I've seen a single image yet where I prefer the original. Every single shot looks better. The software's done a great job. So that is Aftershoot Pro. I think you guys have a pretty good idea of how it works. And this is the first program that we have seen that can do this all locally on a computer. It can help you with culling and you don't have to pay per image. So if this sounds like something you might be interested in, check it out in the link below. As always, I never tell people to go out and just spend hundreds of dollars on software without trying it. 
take advantage of that 30 day free trial, see if this works for you. But I can almost guarantee you, if you're an event photographer and you have thousands of images to get through, this is going to save you so much time and money. Give it a shot.